This amp is loud as f Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So a couple days ago, I did a quick review on the Friedman Mini BE uh, 30 watt amp head. I had got it because I'm trying to sort of get that ACDC tone, the plexi tone, the 60s, seven, well, it'd be 70s, 70s rock tone, late 60s, 70s rock tone. And I uh, did some, and I wanted to get a, an actual amp head and then plug it into a cabinet so I could mess with speakers and do all that stuff. So I watched a YouTube video that showed this mini BE in action. <laughs> To me, it sounded like, it, I think that video was about how it sounds, or you can make it sound like a Plexi amp. And it sounded pretty good. It had that, I don't even know how to describe it, that, just that sound, that tone. And so I, I got one, I got one used off of Reverb and uh, did a review on it. And uh, it's kind of a limited amp. It's uh, more of a fuzz amp than anything. So, uh, one of the comments, the comments were pretty great on this video. I didn't get a ton of views. Um, somebody said, very cool little head, no pun intended, uh, stage, buy a stage right tube 15, all tube amp. Uh, couldn't tell the difference between the switch positions, which I couldn't tell either. Uh, sounds like a box of bees. Are there two DS1s inside? I thought that was kind of funny. And then, uh, what else? So then somebody asked, so no cleans? from this little sucker, eh? So, and I couldn't get any clean tones out of it. So, correct, there were no, no clean tones. It's, so it's a very specific sort of amp. And I think the comments about it being more or less a expensive pedal, I mean, pedals can be a pretty expensive. This thing I think retails for $299. I got it for less than $200 off of Reverb. And so it's a very specific, amp it's just got a kind of a fuzz tone and you're stuck with that and you can increase the you know the fuzz or decrease it it's just always on the edge of breakup there's no clean tones to it so i wanted to try something else so what i ended up with was my very first marshall amp so this is the marshall origin 20 and this is a tube amp and it's the 20 watt sort of re-release or a, a replica of the Marshall sort of plexi sound. And uh, so, and the, the thing that just sort of, I think, sets this apart from any other amp that I've played is how incredibly loud it is. <laughs> At only 20 amps, this, I thought this would be perfect for in studio. You know, you could just kind of turn it up and play quietly. Nope. No, this thing is super loud. So we're going to kind of do a quick review of it, play it a little bit, and I might even take it out to the garage and plug it in and just crank it all the way up and see how loud this thing really goes. So let's get started. Okay, so there it is. Uh, Marshall Origin 20. Um, it's not super huge. Uh, not exactly small either. It's actually really heavy. Um, I should probably throw it on a scale so you you know how heavy it is. And uh, it, again, 20 watt, all tube. Um, it's not a hybrid or anything like that. It's tube amp. So then the, the cabinet is the mono price 1x12 uh, speaker cabinet with Celestion Vintage 30s, uh, 12 inch. Um, it's the Stage Right uh, series. It's a decent cabinet. I think it sounds pretty good and uh, everybody says that the way to really change your guitar tone is to change the speakers and so I wanted to get a cabinet where I could swap out speakers so I'm going to try some, maybe some different speakers in it but we'll get more into that later so let's get this fired up and uh, give it a test run okay I got all set up here and uh, so I got a SM57 pointed at the middle of it uh, about two inches away um, running into Reaper Session and we've got an interesting thing on this amplifier. Uh, you've got a low, mid, and high input. They're calling that a tilt switch, I believe. And according to the specs on their web page, high power is the 20 watts. Mid power is 
is approximately 3 watts and low power is 0.5 and we're on low power right now and it's and it's not even I mean I'm at what is that 2 on the dial so and let's see so some specs on this tube amp obviously uh, you can plug in speakers um, two 8 ohm or one 16 ohm uh, speaker I believe the this one is 8 ohm uh, it's DI out which is interesting so if you want to kind of record or send I don't know if it splits the signal or what I'll, I haven't played with that so I'll have to play with that it's got a, a, a foot switch which is cool so you can uh, turn on the boost with it and you can activate the effects loop with the foot switch so that's kind of cool and then it's got the effects loop send return um, what else we got here um, yeah and then other than that it's there's a presence knob master volume uh, three three EQ oh the t tilt is an actual knob not the switches so the switches are just low medium and pop and high for power and then this tilt switch which I'm not exactly sure what that does. It says, using the tilt control, you can change the blend of your sound from normal to high treble. This is based on the multi-input technology of our more classic amps, such as the 1959 SLP and the JMT45, but in a single controlled knob. I don't know what that means, so I guess we'll just play around with it. So. I'm out of tune already. So, yeah, it's, I can't get over how loud this thing is. So anyway, uh, what do we got? We got, uh, let's turn our treble up to six, mids up to six, bass down to three. And then this tilt, I don't know what that does. So let's play around with it. Oh, it took, it took the harshness of the treble right out of it. So that's kind of neat. Yeah, it's really bright when you turn up that tilt. So I'm going to turn that down. And then our gain we have all the way up. And then if you pull on the gain knob, you pull it out and turn it, that's, you get a boost. So if you turn, pull it out, that controls your, your boost. And then with the pedal, you can turn the boost off and on. Here's the pedal. So... I'll set the boost. Yeah, it's, it does. It increases the volume quite a bit. So that's kind of cool. Let's see if we can get some clean tones out of here. sound good it's still got a little bit of breakup on I'm going to turn the gain all the way down turn the presence back so the master on the clean is pretty pretty so you lose a lot of your power when you turn that gain down
Yeah, so I wouldn't necessarily call it a pure clean tone. Uh, maybe you have to play around with it a little bit more to try to get uh, a clean tone out of it. <laughs> But it's it's good. I like the tone. So okay, let's uh, let's increase the gain. Turn the master down. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. We'll turn it up a little bit louder. It's pretty loud. So, and again, this is on the lowest. This is on 0.5. I'm going to activate a room mic here to see if you can actually hear this. I don't know if it'll work, but... cool yeah I like I like so okay so we're gonna get a little crazy here we're gonna turn this thing up to mid oh, oh that, yeah. That's super loud. Wow, it just peaked my mics too. <laughs> so yeah, that's super, super loud. That's not even all the way up. The volume isn't all the way to the top. And so this is considered three watts. And it is loud. <laughs> so just out of curiosity, Okay, so I got a decibel meter on my phone, so let's crank it real quick here. So the decibel meter is like 100, over 100, so, and that's just on the medium setting, but that's dimed all the way up, the volume all the way up. So um, I don't know if I should... <laughs> Turn it all the way up in here. I think I'll get I'll get some headphones. I'll do that, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I got some earplugs in. Let's turn it all the way up. Yeah, so it's, here, let me turn this down. This amp is super fun. Um, so when you think about, when you think about artists that used the 100 watt versions of these things back in the day, like Angus Young, and how these dudes don't have like severe hearing loss. Well, Brian Johnson got severe hearing loss. Uh, you know, and he's got multiple amp heads and uh yeah so it's just incredible the the amount of just energy coming off of this 
you could probably hook this amp up to like four 12s or two, you know, multiple speakers, and it might even be a little bit louder. But the thing that I think is really interesting about, about the Marshall is that even when you crank the volume like super high, it, the sound stays clean. I, I don't know how to explain it. I mean, it's still, you know, distorted and everything, but it's the, the notes, you know, the, the, the different strings and the different frequencies sort of stay in their own lane. It's real clear. Whereas like the, uh, the, the little Friedman, which is, you know, half the price of this thing, but that little thing just kind of gets muddy the louder it gets. Um, so I can understand why people, you know, really gravitate towards the Marshall uh, products. Like I said, this is the first Marshall I've ever owned. And this is probably going to maintain a permanent home here in the studio because I think for recording and stuff, that's going to be that's going to be awesome. So now what I want to do is is experiment with different uh, speakers, you know, in different speaker configurations and see what tones I can get out of it. I still don't think it has necessarily that authentic, what the, everybody calls the plexi sound. There's a, there's a particular sound to it. I can't, I can't even describe it. I'm, I'm sure uh, people that play guitar a lot or, or are aware of those, you know, like Angus Young and, and Eddie Van Halen and stuff. There's just a tone to that sound. Uh, but I think this sounds pretty good. It sounds pretty... Uh, so now my next thing would be to get an authentic, like a Gibson or something. Uh, my, my goal is to get an SG here and run that through it and see if it has that sort of vintage tone to it. But I want something that's a little more authentic. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with everybody because I, I think this amp is is pretty amazing. Uh, it's just super loud. So, okay, I, I won't take up too much more time with this one. Uh, that's the Marshall Origin uh, 20. Uh, I think they're right around 550 bucks, I think. Uh, but I didn't buy it off of Amazon. I bought it off of a, a, a vendor from Reverb that's actually here in Michigan because I, like I like to deal with local people uh, as often as I can. I've bought stuff from them quite a few. It's called Gear Tree out of Granville, Michigan. And uh, bought quite a bit of stuff on Reverb from them. So I like to support uh, local businesses. And uh, so I got it from them. But I got brand new. It was $550, bucks, $549.99. You can get them on Amazon. I'll post a link. Um, so yeah, so cool, fun stuff. Uh, super loud amp. Uh, I'm, I'm just really excited by it uh if you can't tell so uh maybe run some effects through it like i said in the last video i don't have any effects pedals because i've been using the you know the amp modeling programs and stuff like that for most of my amp because i don't pl I play bass in the band so i just don't have a, a need for a ton of pedals so anyway long story short so anyway i uh, appreciate everybody tuning in. Uh, some of the comments are helpful. Uh, some of the comments are less than helpful, but I appreciate everybody interacting. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Uh, God, I hate to ask people to subscribe because it feels like a lot like, like a sales pitch or something, but it doesn't like, you know, Glenn Fricker says it doesn't cost anything uh, to subscribe. Anyway, okay. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I'm Jay Salen, Jay Salen Guitar. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.